Hello everyone and welcome to Denver Area Council's December Virtual Roundtable. This month's theme is all about camping. My name is Willie Rochester and I am the camping director and your host for this evening. We will be waiting just a few more moments to allow anyone else to join us before we get started. But while we wait, if you haven't already, click the like and follow button on our Facebook and Instagram. That way when we post more content, you'll always get the notification.
Welcome to Denver Area Council's December Virtual Roundtable. This month's theme is all about camping. My name is Willie Rochester and I'm the Camping Director and your host for this evening. I first want to thank everyone for joining us tonight as well as thanking every adult leader, parent, and volunteer for the tremendous hard work you have put in throughout these tough times. You are not unnoticed. Let's take care of some house cleaning items before we get started. If you have any questions about tonight's presentation, please feel free to comment below. We'll be trying to answer as many questions as possible tonight. However, if we don't get to your question, please email the camping department at camping at denverboyscouts.org. Let's jump into tonight's safety moment. Tonight's safety moment is about winter activities. Winter activities is one of the most challenging outdoor adventures because of the potential extreme weather conditions, cold temperatures, and other unique hazards. To help us remember how to stay warm during winter activities, think of the acronym COLD. Staying clean and having clean clothes is vital. Dirt can push down air spaces in between layers, reducing warmth. In the cold, the goal is to stay warm. However, overheating can be a problem if you have too many layers on while doing an activity. Be mindful and stay hydrated. Ensure that you are layering with loose clothing. This will help maximize insulation without cutting off circulation. And of course, no one wants to be wet in the cold. Having dry clothing will prevent frost nip and hypothermia. That's it for the safety moment. Thanks for tuning in. And now to the main event. Let's look at what we'll be covering tonight. Summer camps offered in 2021, year-round camping in 2021, and best practices for units going into 2021. These are the summer camps being offered at Peaceful Valley in 2021. Chris Dobbins and National Youth Leadership Training, or NYLT, is for our Scouts BSA and crew members and our Weeblos Extreme Scouting Trek, Magnus Adventure Camp, and Outdoor Scouting at Magnus is for our Cub Scouts. But what about Tahosa? Despite all of the rumors, Camp Tahosa is not closed. It will be open for unit camping during the 2021 season. To book a reservation in 2021, please go to the year-round camping website or scan the QR code on the screen. Camp Chris Dobbins is a five-night, six-day program and offering six sessions this summer. The cost per person is $450 per youth and $250 per adult. As you can see, we have some new activities happening at camp this year. Upgraded meal service allows your unit to have special access to the dining hall with an upgraded food selection. Troop activity time allows your unit to schedule activity time at selected program areas throughout the week. Additionally, we will be adding adult leader training courses for those adults wanting to improve their skills. Oh, and did I mention we have a newly updated shooting sports National Youth Leadership Training is a five-night, six-day youth leadership training program and offering three sessions this summer. The cost per youth participant is $360. If you are interested in staffing NYLT, please email camping at denverboyscouts.org. This is a great opportunity to have your youth learn new leadership skills to better your unit. Weeblos Extreme Scouting Trek, or WEST program, is a two-night, three-day program and offering 11 sessions this summer. The cost is $195 per youth and $128 per adult. This program is generally geared towards Weeblos and Arrow of Light Scouts. Magnus Adventure Camp, or MAC program, is a two-night, three-day program and offering 11 sessions this summer. The cost is $195 per youth, $95 per sibling, and $128 per adult. This program is generally geared towards all Cub Scout ages and family members. 
Outdoor Scouting at Magnus, or OSN program, is a one-night, one-day program and offering 10 sessions this summer. The cost is $98 per youth, $80 per sibling, and $74 per adult. The program is generally geared towards new Cub Scouts and family members as an introduction So many of you may be asking, what's the risk to sign up for summer camp at this moment? We understand that your unit may have some reservations about making a reservation, but our updated refund and cancellation policy should put your mind at ease. Bottom line is, is if your unit or an individual from your unit must cancel due to a COVID-related reason, then you will receive a full refund. In preparation for the summer, the Camping Department has already had a meeting with the Director of the Elbert County Health Department to discuss plans for the summer. We will actively be collaborating with them to ensure that we are following the guidelines for a safe camp. The Camp Staff Management is also planning a COVID and a non-COVID plan for summer camp, meaning either way we are having camp this year. The National Organization and American Camping Association has been compiling data from camps who successfully operated in 2020. They are expected to release all of this information in late February, early March. Updates will be provided on our website as well as the Leader's Guide when available. The 2021 campsite booking system is officially online and will be your one-stop shop for reserving campsites at either Peaceful Valley or Camp Tahosa. The Council Camping Committee has spent several months reevaluating and updating the year-round camping fees and guidelines. This information can be found on the year-round camping website and will take effect January 1st, 2021. The Denver Area Council has created a color chart, much like Colorado's color chart, for counties to help units better understand COVID restrictions at Peaceful Valley. As we all know, this information is constantly changing, and we will strive to keep this information up to date as possible on the year-round camping website. Due to the limited amount of outdoor scouting activities we have been able to do, if your unit isn't meeting in person, the unit committee should reevaluate charging unit dues. Also considering in-person meetings as a patrol or den, then meeting as an entire unit virtually. Of course, staying local for 2021 So, for some final thoughts to leave you with, don't wait to secure your spot for summer camp. We are currently making decisions for 2021 summer camp season now, and with low interest, we may have to cancel certain weeks. Staying local helps support Denver Area Council's local efforts in scouting. Stay local, support local. Here is the list of all of the QR codes and the website links mentioned in this presentation. Please feel free to snap a picture and share with your friends. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions that have not been answered, please email those to camping at denverboyscouts.org. Keep calm and stay scouting. Good night, everyone.